Did Milana just sign a three-year, $66 million contract extension? Q. Phew. That's so insane great. That's so insane great. Good night. That guy couldn't even put shoulder pads on. And they lowered the cap to create. Why is he creating more cap space when there's nothing left to do unless you're making a trade? Something's up. Something's up. He's he's now he's created more cap space for himself now with that contract extension, creating more money for him. He's got to have at least 43, 45 million dollars now um under the salary cap. And this is way after free agency. It's either a trade on on uh, draft day or it's going to be something on post June 1. Okay? Jordan Jordan Mulata, in my opinion, look what they did. They 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 nailed down the entire left side of the offense for the next 10 years between Milad and Landon Dick. That's a spectacular move. This is what Howie does the best of. This is what he does best. Contract negotiations, putting deals together, lowering cap. Absolutely spectacular. Some big trades or something is coming. Adam Schefter, this just in the Eagles and Landon or Jordan Mulata have reached an agreement on a three-year, $66 million extension that includes a $48 million in guarantees and $20 million signing bonus. The deal ties Mulata to Philadelphia through 28. The $23 million per year average puts him among only Jeremy Tunsil, Trent Williams, Andrew Thomas, among the highest paid offensive tackles in the sport. What an absolutely sensational find in the draft that is. Kudos to Jeff Stoutland, Howie, and everyone for believing in Stoutland. That right there is one of the greatest draft picks since Larry Allen. Okay? Larry Allen was found in the 12th round, I believe, either out of Simona State or Humboldt State. And he went on to a legendary Hall of Fame career. Best offensive guard I've ever seen. Best talent I've ever seen. This Mulata story is something out of Marvel Comics. This guy was a rugby football player five, six years ago. Went to one of those camps. And now... He's among the highest paid left tackles at one of the most demanding positions in the National Football League. He's utterly insane. Unbelievable. I would tell you this, that's a better draft pick than Jalen Hurts because it's more remarkable in how you found him. You actually had to find this. See, when you... When a guy is drafted in the sixth round, like Brady, he fell to you. You missed him five times. But when you draft a virtually unknown player who's never played football and organized football in his life, that's scouting. That's scouting. Let's give him a shot. That's blind faith. That's Jeff Stoutland. Jeff Stoutland makes millionaires. Even Andre Dillard got a deal with Tennessee a year ago. He couldn't even start in Tennessee. I'll tell you this. If you're an offensive lineman and you're a prospect in this draft, you're praying that you're drafted by the Eagles. Jeff Stoutland is the most important position coach in pro football because he makes millionaires. I mean, there have been position coaches, position coaches before that look at look at Jason Kelsey. I know Howard Mudd first got a hold of him, but Stoutland thought the same and then turned him into a Hall of Fame center. Look what he's done to Landon Dickerson 
Dickerson was kind of injured at Alabama. Now he's a $20 million a year guy. Turn Mulata into the high, one of the highest paid tackles. Lane's going to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. If you're Cam Jurgens, thank you for landing me in Philly. I'll tell you this, of all the positions on your field and all the things that I ruin you guys for, that, I will never say anything negative. And if you miss on someone, hey, well, he got 50 right. That's a guy you do this on. Hey, you know, he didn't land on that guy. What about the other guys that he did land on and he moved people around? You give guys like that hall passes. Hmm. Unbelievably successful. Tremendous. That's one of the greatest draft picks in Eagle history. Wow. Seventh round is now one of the highest paid guys, and he's a left tackle. Not a linebacker. Not a right guard. Not an edge rusher, but a left tackle. The premium positions in pro football, center, left tackle, edge, corner, receiver, quarterbacks. The rest of them are pawns. <sighs> Seals, do you see them trading for Allen of the Jags? There's so much money, man. I think Q something's up. Could it be Josh Allen of the Jags or Patrick Sertain of the Broncos? Man, I don't know. I, I there's something. I think there's a huge move coming on draft day. I'm going to make this proclamation with all the money that they have and with teams so desperate for quarterbacks and them being at 22. I I think there's something up. Remember, Jordan didn't know anything. He thought he was going to be a running back when Stoutland told him tackle. He didn't know what that was until friends said, like blindside, shows his athleticism. He's the best athlete on the Philadelphia Eagles. Who in their right mind never played football or organized football, and now you're the highest paid player at your position? Left tackle? Unbelievable. Like like you you you, James, that's something that you make a movie on. I mean, the kid blindside that movie. Okay, he was he was a kid that lived in the street. This guy never played the position in his life. He's a rugby player in New Zealand or Australia or something. Incredible. Incredible. In incredible. Um Big Sills is devastated by the Eagles' moves. On defense, they stink. Eagles only have 14 in cap space. Next year, they're rolling them, they're rolling that money over. Broncos not trading Sertan. Jack's not trading Allen. Probably not. AJ's cap hit is 14 million. Trading him would give us a dead cap of 40 million. That's yeah, that's it's he's next year they'll do it. They're not gonna do it this year. They're not doing that. But again, AJ Brown is no different than Stefan Diggs or Tyree Kill or any of these guys. He'll be traded one more time before the age of 27. He's no different than those other guys. He's not better than any of them other guys. He's right there in the same group with Devontae Adams. He's no better. Just because he's an eagle, he's in that group of the big-time wideouts. Do you understand what's happening here? With all these wide receivers that are coming into the draft, do you know what teams are doing that are paying these big-time wideouts? 
It would, hey, 304, I know you watched the show. It would not shock me if the Cowboys traded CeeDee Lamb and drafted a wide receiver in the draft and then turned around and restructured Dak and signed Parsons and go into the draft and trade CD and move up and get neighbors or get the kid um, Odunza from Washington, something like that. CD Lamb wide receivers are, are paid to be moved. I don't know about trading Parsons. They they love the guy, and I think he's overrated. Okay. See, that's what I thought, Dirty D. I thought the Eagles had thirty three million in cap space. Okay, and now with with this move here, I'm sure the cap numbers got to be near forty million. I thought it was. I thought it would have been near forty. I agree. Parsons is not leaving. Dallas. All right, I got to take a time out. By the way, we'll talk to uh, Merrill Reese at 3.30 Eastern. And we'll add this now to the question when it comes to um, Jordan Malata getting a brand new contract extension. Tremendous move by the Eagles. I'll tell you what, man. They do it right in that offensive line. Whew. You got Upshaw and Shell for the next two ye- 10 years. Can you imagine if you put Bowers in that group too and you draft him and he falls to 22? Bowers, Mulata, Landon Dickerson, Cam Jurgens, and Lane Johnson for the next three years. Man, no excuses for your boy to win games. Had the best offensive group. Look at the money they're spending. Look at the investments they're making. I mean, they're making these all-around hurts. Got to win, son. Can't come in third and second and fifth. Eventually, you got to punch your ticket, don't you? Your best quarterback in franchise history can't be a backup. Nick Foles can't be the only guy that does something spectacular. I mean... What are you, the Chargers? The Chargers had Dan Fouts and Phillip Rivers. And do you know who took them to the Super Bowl? You can't have a franchise like that and have a guy take you to the Super Bowl you can't even remember his name. Okay, you can't. I mean... (laughs) Jalen Hurts has the most talent of any quarterback in the National Football League today. That's right. Way to go, Kyle. Stan Humphreys took the Chargers to a Super Bowl and not Dan Fouts and not Phillip Rivers. And a backup quarterback won you the Super Bowl. It can't be when you have McNabb and Wentz and Hurts, can it? Got a lot of talent, kid. Hey, Jalen Hurts is no better than Jared Goff or Brock Purdy. You need all that talent or you can't win. Congratulations. Way to go, Howie. Keep building that team. You got to. Because he can't win without it. It's proven. Hit the like button. Merrill Reese will join us. My top 10 players that will be in the NFL draft. We'll do that next. Keep it here, National Football Show.